Welcome everyone, my name is Johanna Woods, and today I'm going to talk to you about climate change, which apparently you've been studying, as I've been told, and I'm going to show you how climate change actually affects animals. Well, climate change not only heats up the air, but it also affects weather. Because you're heating up that air, you might have something such as snowfall, it might not have as much throughout the year. Well, this weather changing actually affects animals here on Earth. So one example would be that the change of snowfall, so if you have less snowfall, um, in one area, snowshoe hairs we have seen might actually decrease or go down. The number that we see might go down. And sometimes scientists are actually studying this, but first let me show you a picture. This is a snowshoe hair. This might actually be the same individual. So this is a white snowshoe hair and this is a brown snowshoe hair. This guy over here is blending in with his background, such as the snow, and this guy does not have to worry about the snow. Therefore, he is a different color. So this might be the same individual, and they actually change in order to blend in with their surroundings throughout the year. So um, climate change is actually changing these guys' surroundings quicker than normal, meaning that this, the snow might actually be coming later in the year, and therefore these guys might actually be white already before the snow even comes. So this is kind of what I'm going to show you. This is actually called mismatching. So this is a white snowshoe hair, and this would be before the snow comes. So unfortunately, they don't blend in very easily, and this is kind of what it would look like if it was a brown snowshoe hair and a white snow cover. So they don't match their surroundings. So this does mean that they will actually easily be seen by their predators or things that eat them, such as coyotes, bobcats, hawks, all these guys can easily see them. And this means that they actually will become more easily eaten and they will not live as long a life and their numbers will decrease. You won't see as many. So scientists have um, seen this and they've seen decreases in numbers, but they've also seen that in the future, they might go away completely. We might not see any because they've been eaten away at constantly over the years. So, well, this is all due to climate change. Well, maybe there's some way that these guys can change and get used to these conditions in the future. Well, somehow snowshoe hairs might actually have already started changing. So maybe in the future one of you guys can study this and see how they have changed with this climate change. See if they've adapted or changed with these difficulties. So you guys can definitely check that out and come back to me. But for now, that's all I'm going to talk to you guys about. Um, I do hope that you guys learned something and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching.